Hey guys, welcome back to another mold pull video. Got quite a few pieces to work with here today. I'm going to start with the dice that I made, the most recent set of dice. Still with the bubbles. Still got a little bit of bubbling going on with this mold. I might actually have to one day invest in one of those pressure cooker things to get all the air out. Uh, however, it does look like I at least got less uh, bubbles this time. So, you know, steady progress. All right, let's just bust these bad boys out. So, I had the purple dye and the silver mica for these ones. All that satisfying little film. Simple and pretty. <clears throat> okay, a little bit of coffee. Alright, next up we have our new mushroom mold. Let's see, so this one I actually did a little bit of the mica paint on the uh on the ring designs on the inside of the mold. And then again with the purple and silver as requested, some uh, mineral stones up at the top. You can kind of see down in it, but not very well, so. There's just a hidden starfish down in there, and you'll just have to take my word for it. And then for this one, we did again the mineral stones up around the top edge. No, this one was the aquarium gravel. And then a layer, a uh, thin layer of those glow in the dark stones. Clear with some glitter and some purple and some silver mica, purple dye silver mica. I've managed to keep a lot of the bubbles out of the surface this time, which is unexpected. Ta da! Cute little guy. Alright, <clears throat> next up we have our new container mold. So this one was, let's see, clear along the bottom with some aquarium gravel. Uh, a little bit of white mica, uh, white dye powder, sorry, white, just white dye. 
uh, blue mica, bronze mica, and purple dye? Purple dye. And then for the lid, we have this piece here. A thin kind of mountain range looking thing. Same color patterns. Looks like a topographical map. And, ta-da, it all fits together. Not bad. And then we can just make more bottom layers with this thing. And build yourself a little jewelry box. with so many containers full of dice. <coughs> uh, then for the rest of the uh, purple and silver mica uh, resin, I made another layer for the other multi-layer jewelry box that I've got, which is great because it looks like I'm going to have to scrap that lid that I made. This time I took those little toggle pieces, the, the bead making pieces, and put them in the bottom to make it a, a standard. Let's write that before it deforms. Ah, so just the just the silver and purple, which is a great color combination. A little bit more of that uh, blue to um Blue themed aquarium gravel going on. Not a lot of rough surfaces here. Just gotta file down that edge. A little bit of bubbling on the bottom, but nothing I'm worried about. And lastly, we have this centerpiece that I made with one of my wine glass holders. Uh, for a co-worker. So first poured the uh, the base itself of the center of the uh, the holder. Let that cure. Then went through and added um, uh, the flower pieces. Let it cure the rest of the way, and then went up or over on top and put in the the flower stickers and the stones and the gravel, and then just kind of drizzled some uh, resin, some clear resin over top of those to cement them in place. Looks like I didn't miss anything. It's big, it's gold, it's shiny, I like it. The person I made it for likes it too. Alright. So, is that everything? I think so. Alright. That's it for this episode. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit.